page is a review of ion-ion forces, and we will see that ion-ion forces are exactly the same thing as ionic bonds. We give them two different names because of how important they are. They're important in two different sets of circumstances. In one set of circumstances, it's called an ionic bond because an ionic bond is what um, keeps, so what the, the force of attraction between two ions that makes, makes ions form bonds. And we've seen this a number of different places, including um, when we talk about double replacement reactions. Now, uh, again, it's the same thing. It's called ion-ion forces. Now it's the intermolecular force between two different ions. Positive and negative ions are attracted to each other. And we know that, uh, that we get a whole bunch of these. And this is a picture of solid. NaCl. And our ionic bonds and ionic forces is the same thing with two different names. It tells you what the answer is there. Please answer this question as yes. Oh, and we'll continue with ion-ion forces because there are some trends in ion-ion forces. And the trends go like this. The strength of the ion-ion forces for a substance can be estimated using two factors. The product of the charges of the atoms involved and the distance between nuclei. And I'm gonna make a distinction here. First, this first one, the product of the charges of the atoms involved, and hopefully you can see that, let's zoom in. That is the more important, oops, keep hitting my camera, more important trend. So you'll always be looking for the product of charges first. And when the product of charges are the same, that's when we look here at the distance between nuclei. So only look at this trend only when product of charges are is product products of charges are equal. And we've got two examples here. We're going to go over this one first to talk about what the product of charges means. So here we have calcium oxide, which is a plus two minus two. And that uh, was two times two is four, which is greater than two times one. And note that there's two fluorine ions here. We're not counting the number of ions in this particular case. We're only counting charge charges. So only count charge because it's the charges that sets how attracted they are to each other and plus one minus one that's going to be um, one times one is one so we're showing that the ion ion forces for calcium oxide are greater than for calcium fluoride which are greater than potassium fluoride now in this other example here we have all plus two minus twos. And what we're gonna say here is that since, uh, and we have all, we have two calciums and two sulfides. And now we're going to need to deal with our periodic table a little bit to understand which of these are smaller. Again, uh, all of the product of charges would be four, so they're the same. And so let's back out here for a minute and Let's see, so we have calcium here, we have strontium here, and so as size increases as we go down, calcium is smaller than strontium. And then it looks like we have oxygen and sulfur. Oxygen is smaller than sulfur, so at least we know the size is now, because the trend goes increasing size, increasing size of atoms. Same thing for ions. Now, um, and it turns out that the smaller the ion, the larger ion-ion force. So smaller ion has larger ion-ion force. And you can think of it this way. There's plus two charge being spread out of a, over a smaller space versus a plus two charge being spread out over a larger space. 
it's going to cause more attraction when it's in the smaller space. Now, um, and so calcium, sorry, oxygen is smaller than sulfur and calcium is smaller than strontium, so that's why calcium oxide is the smallest, then calcium sulfide, and then strontium sulfide. Again, only use the trend for sizes, and smaller sizes have greater ion ion forces when the products of charges are equal. So let's go ahead and work through this example. This is problem three. It says arrange the following compounds in order of decreasing intermolecular ion ion forces. Well, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say one equals largest IMF and four equals smallest. And I'll use that throughout. And, and there we go. Okay, so uh, now my process for this is going to be to start by identifying which ions and which charges we have. Sodium chloride was what's called a plus one minus one because it has a plus one sodium and a minus one chloride. Same thing here. And we know this because we've got our periodic table and all of the group ones are plus one, all of the group twos are plus two. Aluminum is plus three. And then we've got the minus ones for the halogens, minus two and minus three. And then of course the polyatomics you'll have to memorize and we will see some of those. Not on this page though. Actually, no, I don't, I don't know if we will. The trend holds for them, but uh, we don't see any on this page. Then we have magnesium, which is plus two minus one, and plus two minus two for magnesium oxide. That means here it's gonna be four, one, or, and uh, the way I do it, I like to keep the char this charge, or sorry, the sign of it. So this is actually minus four, and minus one, because the minus sign, we're familiar with the fact that that means that these, uh, this minus four means that energy is given off, and it's true, and this is just a side note, you don't have to do this, that um, when the two atoms, two ions, excuse me, magnesium and oxide come together, they are lowering the energy, and lower energy is negative for us. So, and this would give off energy, which would be exothermic when this happens. Anyway, minor point, you can do positive or negative, uh, but I'm gonna do negative in this example. So we've got minus two, minus one, minus one, and minus four. Minus four wins the day as the largest IMF because larger uh, product of charges is larger IMF. Then we have two because our product of charges is second greatest here. And then we have minus one and minus one. These two are the same. When they're the same, we go to their sizes and we have sodium is the same, but fluorine versus chlorine, fluorine or fluoride in this case, since it's the ion, will be smaller. So that means this is number three and this is number four. Uh, as far as the ordering from largest IMF to smallest IMF. Uh, I will leave these two to you to do, uh, for you to do, and I'll check your work when you turn it in.